So back to that story that I was trying to tell you before that media engagement, a University of the Western Cape's recent creation of a new DNA profiling kit could help solve sexual assault related crimes. Researchers from the institution have partnered with two biotech companies to assist in commercializing the project. Gender-based violence, uh, anti-gender-based violence activists are hoping this could ease the current backlog for positive prosecutions. Here's ENCA's Nobesutu Hejana with that story. The South African Police Service's forensic DNA backlog is seeing an increase rather than a decrease 200,000 unresolved cases were recorded last year in May, and by the end of the year, the stats grew with 35,000 new cases till to date. In the Western Cape alone, there are over 37,000 DNA evidence collected for sexual offences cases that are yet to be processed. But the University of the Western Cape's unique DNA profiling kit may be a solution to solve cases. When we get a match, we have to present in court what is called the weight of the evidence. Um, that is, uh, how reliable is this match? Put it in lay terms means, for instance, what is the chance that there's another person out there who presents the same profile? Um, about 15 years ago, we did a very careful selection of fragments of the Y chromosome that are very different from men to men and that maximize the differences between them. Professor Maria Diamanto says the profiling kit can also assist to solve cold cases, but only if enough evidence is collected and stored properly. In a case where there are multiple perpetrators, DNA can also be matched using samples taken as part of the essay's diversity for South African men. If we have a bunch of suspects, we can direct the investigation to one point or another, or say, okay, focus in finding a man that most likely come from the Northern Cape or have ancestry in the Northern Cape. So it's a, a additional information that can be added in the, in the search for the truth. Gender-based activist Zintlo Kobeni, who also runs a paralegal program for victims, says the backlog is disappointing, but hopes this invention will lead to positive prosecutions. It's a progressive idea, the fact that they've worked all, uh, on it for such a long time. Um, it, it, it sounds promising. We hope that it will obviously yield the uh, desired results. We also do hope that it will just not be another great idea that's going to sit somewhere and, and, and actually not bring about um, the results that we want to see when it comes to uh, you know, the um, fast tracking of DNA evidence and of course um, leading to uh, successful prosecutions of sexual violence cases. Researchers working on the DNA kit are hoping government will give it a green light once the kit has been commercialized to fast track prosecutions. Nobesutu Yejana, Cape Town.